In this video, I will consider one numerical on maximum power transfer theorem. For the network shown below, find the value of ZL for which maximum power transfer occurs. Also find the power transfer. This is the given circuit. We are supposed to calculate the value of ZL so that the maximum power will be delivered to load impedance that is ZL. So this is the given circuit. So we know that while calculating the maximum power, first we have to bring this network to Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Thevenin's equivalent circuit means we need to calculate Thevenin's voltage VTH and we have to calculate Thevenin's resistance RTH. Now let me calculate VTH. So to calculate VTH, we are supposed to remove this ZL from the circuit. From the circuit. Now my circuit looks like this. So we have 2 ohm register, here we have 4 ohm register and we have J8 ohm, this is 4 ohm, 2 ohm and here we have voltage source. Let me assume this is positive, negative and the value of this is 100 angle 45. Let me assume that there was, this was A terminal and this is B terminal, I have removed this ZL from the circuit. As A and B is open, no current flows here. So let me assume current I is flowing in the circuit. So now I can apply KVL to this loop that is 100 angle 45 is equal to 2 ohm, 4 ohm and J8 all are in series that is 2 plus 4 plus J8 I that is 2 plus 4 plus J8 I that is 100 angle 45 is equal to V of 6 plus J8 I so therefore I can write current I is equal to 100 angle 45 divided by 6 plus J8 let me calculate this value so this value can be calculated directly using calculator keep calculator in complex mode directly type 100 angle 45 that option or provision is available in the calculator so it gives 9.89 minus j we have 1.414 so while calculating make sure that calculator is in degree mode now let me calculate vth vth is nothing but feminine voltage so here we can see that this ZL is removed from the circuit. The voltage between terminal A and B is nothing but VTH. That is voltage across 4 plus J8 is nothing but VTH. So therefore now I can write. So therefore VTH is equal to we have 4 plus J8 into I. That is we have 4 plus J8 into i is nothing but 9.89 we have minus j 1.44 minus j 1.414 so solving this we will get Fifty point nine one plus J we have seventy three point five three nine or let me write this in polar form. So in polar form it can be written as eighty nine point four four at an angle of fifty five point three zero degree. So this is the VTH. So once if you find VTH, now we are supposed to calculate RTH. So to calculate RTH, the voltage source must be short circuited. So if we short circuit this, then this 2 ohm and 4 plus J8 ohm will be in parallel. That is we have to find the equivalent resistance between terminal A and B. If we short this, this 2 ohm and 4 plus J8 will come in parallel. So I can write. 
RTH will be equal to RTH is equal to F2 is in parallel with 4 plus J8 in parallel with 4 plus J8 that is nothing but 2 into 4 plus J8 divided by 2 plus 4 plus J8 solving this we will get RTH is equal to it gives 1.76 plus J 0 0.3 so this is Thevenin's resistance RTH or it can also be known as ZTH. So now let me draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit that is VTH should be connected in series with RTH. We have this is VTH. The value of this is 89.44 at an angle of 55.3. We have RTH this is rth which is equal to 1.76 plus j 0 0.32 so here we supposed to connect zl so we know that the maximum power will be transferred to the load resistance if zl value is complex conjugate of rth so therefore if we choose ZL is equal to complex con conjugate of this. So ZL will be equal to 1.76 minus J 0 0.32. This is the value of ZL. For this value, the maximum power will be transferred. So this is the ZL value. Now let me calculate the maximum power. So maximum power can be calculated as P max is equal to we have VTH square divided by 4 into RL. That is we have VTH. So VTH value is 89.44 take only magnitude part that is 89.44 square divided by 4 into RL. Here RL means take only real number that is 1.76 that is 1.76 so solving this we will get P maximum power is equal to 1136.29 watts so therefore the maximum value or maximum power transfer to the load is 1136.29 watts Thank you for watching.